chilling down there. Oh, that's so yeah. cool. Oh, hell yeah. This is so gnarly, dude. I yeah. can already imagine all the BK photo pages getting that <laughs> angle of the flyby right there. Hell I mean, yeah. look at that. That's sexy. Look at that. Oh, she flies. Oh, that's so cool. Good. That's so gnarly. Talking with this felon right now in the YouTube comments of this podcast, he embezzled like or he sliced like millions of dollars like through loan scams and shit. And I commented on yes. the podcast, and it's and I it's some you know how people like make fake accounts and shit sometimes. Yeah, it's legit his account. He's like commenting back at me and shit. It's it's fucking wild. <laughs> All right, let's get this show on the road. What's going on, everybody? We are back in Appalachian Adventure, and we actually have a guest today. We have Cameron on the mic. How you doing, Cam? I'm doing good. What about you? I'm doing I'm I'm doing all right. So I outsourced a little bit of work for Cameron to come in and make this oh so fresh, oh so steezy GCI coaster. And if you guys remember the initial well, I, I think it might have been I don't know, I've done way too many of these videos, but there originally was a B and M flying coaster back here, and I just I like to jump the gun on my projects. I like to kind of lay shit out way in advance, if you can't tell. And I just, it wasn't the vibe we were going for. So I got in contact with Cameron. He is an incredible builder and he was actually just down in Dollywood, correct? Yep. You were just down in Dollywood and you got that, you had that Thunderhead blood running. So I went ahead and handed the park over to him and he built us this incredible GCI roller coaster. What really kind of... Shit. See, this is where we're going to edit stuff out of the video right now. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it just, this really turned out great. Um, way better than I could have done. It filled in this, this section of the park beautifully, dude. Like this, this looks insane. So great. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> talk a little bit about some of the things you knew you wanted to build while you were, while you were working on this coaster, you know, certain things you want to implement in yeah. total GCI fashion, I guess. Uh, all right. So honestly, I didn't really have much inspiration. I just kind of freehanded it. I mean, there's this GCI just has this style that you want to follow, you know? Oh, it's yeah. just like, yeah. Well, I mean, you, it's just whatever shaping you end up going for. It's just like, you want to keep the, the feel, I guess. Yeah. Like so well, I just really wanted to keep that, keep it close to the ground at an airtime, wherever I could middle of turns, turnarounds, anything. Yeah, and, and if you look at it overhead, it, it has that GCI kind of feel, you know? Because if you look at yeah. GCI layouts from above, and I'm not sure if this is the practice they that they implement, but I remember hearing it somewhere that they kind of do an overhead kind of layout first, so it's a lot of straight lines, tight turns and stuff. Yeah. And then they kind of go in and work on the transitions and stuff. And I think yeah. probably one of the better examples would be right here, like this kind of, it looks like kind of an outward bank, but it's not. It's just getting it's back. completely straight. Yeah, like from above, it's completely straight, but you get that totally, you know, janky kind of gnarly <laughs> lateral airtime right there. Yeah. So anyone that and I mean, to... I think that hill is banked at probably a good 35, 40 degrees right there. All those great. But the cool thing is it just carries the bank straight from the turn and it just slaps you out of your seat and then slams back into the. Yes, sir. People like to say RMC is just, the. Uh... That kind of jank right there is what really makes it. Oh, yeah. Well, especially right here, this kind of stuff. And it, that's the weirdest thing. Like, it looks so, like, I guess janky is the right word. It looks so whack and yeah. stuff, but it, it actually is very smooth. We're, I'm not going to go ahead and film a point of view for you guys because, I'm at, well, I will, but I, I'm going to give it to Cameron because, you know, I want to give entire credit where credit is due. And you could probably put this out on your YouTube channel, which you need to, oh, you really should get back there. on the YouTube grind, my guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, man. I might. You need to. It's a well. It's actually not a prime time YouTube. Uh, yeah. If not, I don't want to get into that, but they suck. They're a bunch of communists. But yeah. you know, they kind of have us by the balls. Yep. Yeah. So, oh, that flyby right there. <laughs> yeah, we needed the flyby. So, I guess the theme. I guess I can go ahead and give a quick rundown. So, this section of the park right in here. Uh, ignore the T Rex. Uh, we'll get to that eventually. But where you see the lighter path, this is going to be called Blue Ridge Bicentennial, uh, which is theoretically theme to the 1976, you know, 4th of July celebration of America, uh, America, America, the uh, bicentennial being the 200 year anniversary of America. So we were kind of tossing around ideas for how we're going to theme this. And I think we settled on fireworks and stuff. 
they're going to go ahead and build a warehouse for the station and everything. And uh, just to kind of give credit, we'll definitely run with the Crazy Cams Company picnic thing. And you actually yeah. uh, had the idea of it being kind of a total shit show of the fireworks, you know, kind of going like all over the party the- gone wrong and you have to run from it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like very much Fire Chaser Express vibes because definitely. I love to say in, that this park is uh, Bush Gardens and Dollywood inspired it's, but it's Dollywood. <laughs> yeah, but most but but what I've been building so far like with Settlers Avenue and everything is just like screams Bush Gardens. So, you know, it was just I think it was I really do think it was divine fate Cameron that we that you came in and worked on this because I was really lacking some Dollywood inspiration, and you were just down there for what? What event was that? Yep, it was Smoky Mountain Coaster Fest. Smoky Mountain Coaster Fest, lightning rod, you lucky son of a bitch. Sixteen times. Sixteen times. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm jealous. I love that ride so much. But um, let's go ahead and jump in Tedu Cam real quick, and we'll just go over some skylines and shit. Oh yeah, this is this. Uh, we're definitely going to go ahead and keep this open. So this hill right in here, uh, they'll. So I'm going to, the hill will stay because I'm going to implement a Roanoke, I'm going to recreate the Roanoke star and stuff out in Roanoke just to kind of fill in the Roanoke Valley section and everything, but maybe fill in some trees to cover up the Iron Bandit death roll and everything. But this lift hill right here, this is entirely, this will stay. And I, and I think, I don't, I don't think I'm going to fill trees in right here either where the turn hits the uh, station flyby or anything, just maybe a flat ride or something. Cause I, I want to keep this completely yeah. open. You you put in too much work and made this look too freaking sick not to show it off in all of its glory and stuff. But that that's so Dollywood. That is so Thunderhead. What did you end up uh, putting the lift hill at? What was the angle of ascent? It's, I think it's 24. 24? So, if I remember yes, correctly. it's right around 25. That's somewhere, uh, somewhere around there. That's pretty standard GCI kind of stuff. And, and the other thing the is... The thing is, it's not too steep, but it's not too shallow. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing is the placement of this ride, I think uh, you didn't obstruct the view. And it wasn't even anything I was concerned about either was I wanted to kind of leave this view of the T-Rex open. And that 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 just how you implemented the, the lift hill and shit. It just looks great. Yeah. I, I, I mean, and I might be sounding like a little bit too self proud and stuff, man. But this <laughs> I think this this worked out perfectly like this. Oh, no, this, that's great. This is going to look insane. And then you get that, oh, you get that sick oh, yes. flying up. because Flying through the station. Yeah. And then I know it'll never happen, but that moment right there where the train dives out of the station under the lift hill, if you have another train going up the lift hill right there, that's just perfect. Oh, yeah, you'd have, well, we could always go in. I I, I mean, yeah, I guess I'll. I mean, you would, have, you would have to really slow the lift hill down. That and we could always like time the dispatches to kind of line up maybe. Well, actually, yeah. no, because. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We would have to slow down the lift hill, but yeah, I mean, because I mean, the train isn't even near the station yet. Yeah, that is true. But I, I'm, I think we're gonna run with the chaser lights on the lift hill, 100. percent Oh yeah, 100. percent That would look so cool at night. Um, but yeah, so you're technically still in the Roanoke Valley section of the park right here with the black tarmac and everything. This will all get filled in eventually, much like everything else I talk about in this park. But you're coming up along here into the Blue Ridge Bicentennial section, and this is just. That's a really, uh, this park has been lacking a family coaster for a good while. And I think this kind of fills that void very well, you know, because GCIs are kind of, yeah. you know, they're well known to satisfy, you know, both the uh, intense yeah, sexual desires of coaster enthusiasts, <laughs> along with the demands of the <clears throat> Karens and families and stuff. So, yeah. Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. The pre-lift, it just, it's kind of just chilling down there. Oh, that's so yeah. cool. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. This is so gnarly, dude. I, you know how I was like saying earlier, I've kinda, I'm have kind of i kind of getting tired of this park? Yeah. Shit, now I just want to build it in all freaking day, yo. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You seriously have no idea. Well, and here, so we were talking about this too. Um, probably go ahead and implement the entrance somewhere in this area. Maybe like kind of a bridge over and maybe bridge a over the pre lift, yeah. Yeah, and like a, a plaza kind of deal inside of the pre lift and the station and everything. Um, let's go over this way. So right in here, th- so this I don't, I was kind of confused when we were talking about this. Did you when this path was like black tarmac? Did you were you referring to this as the backstage area? Yeah, I figured that you would want that whole area that right there to be backstage. 
that actually is like access to the t-rex or whatever that actually uh, that actually isn't going to be backstage that's actually um we'll we'll implement the backstage area right in here to get up to the coaster and i have to build like you know steps and ladders and shit in here but you also want you know theoretical access to yeah and well you can get up the hill too and you can go back around iron bandit if you work it like that yeah um, because i want to somehow i'm going to toy around with the terrain a little bit and connect because i did clean up the iron bandit backstage area a little bit see this is all completely filled in and stuff so we could theoretically fill in a backstage area along the whole back part of the part or the coaster you could uh, connect the road back around, like behind Iron Bandit. Yeah, and then that maybe way put one access. up to the helix on the GCIs. Mm-hmm. That way you have access to the GCI and everything. Uh, this will actually yep. be the kids section right in here. <laughs> what I was telling you, Jewel- right. Jubilee uh, oh, Junction, yeah. where just yep. a bunch of pro kid vaping propaganda. Yeah, it's kind of fucked, up, <laughs> but it'll work. So yeah, yeah that'll probably. <laughs> too worried about that just yet but we did have to probably on one of those corners slap a little place that you can get your picture or whatever press the coaster in the background oh yeah uh total vista point i think they call it in the game and um walking up on here shit we're gonna have to jump back into touched cam again aren't we Uh, yeah that won't make the cut but uh they're posting a bunch of (laughs) of like the guests and stuff you would be coming down blue ridge bicentennial this is all very rough and everything but you know, lines of sight, boys. Look at yes. that. Look at that T-Rex. The T-Rex and then... And the Woody just in hides the in the background. Poke in there in the background is the GCI. We're, I'll definitely, the lift we'll, is there in the background, too. Yeah, there's Iron Bandit. This will... Honestly, though, and it kind of pains my heart to say it, this is probably going to get filled in with trees a little bit right here. So, I mean, maybe they'll... Well, you know what we could do? Probably, so Bush Gardens Williamsburg, they had to clear out a whole straight strip of land of trees right through the middle of the property because they have a, um, I forget what the pipeline name is, but there's a pipeline that runs under the property and there has to be a certain amount of aerial um, clearance and view. They have to have a good aerial view of it from above. So they declare all the trees. So when you go, you can see there's just a whole strip of trees gone. So maybe, wow. maybe we could pull some bullshit backstory and then have a clear strip of kind of openness or just a little bit of shrubs and bushes and stuff running all the way up to Iron Bandit so you get that view. Oh, yeah. In fact, that's probably what will definitely happen. But so, yeah. <laughs> yep, that's happening. That's definitely what's happening. <laughs> but this is what, I didn't realize this either. So coming down Blue Ridge Bicentennial, this is just kind of a boneyard. All this stuff will be gone. But, uh. This view, man, walking up on the coaster and up the lift hill, and then that Iron Bandit airtime hill back there. Holy moly. Oh, that looks cool. I think we'll probably have to run chaser lights along both sides of the lift, just yeah. because since this will you know, be a kid section. But this is, you know, mm-hmm. this interaction right here, this looks great. Yeah. I really wanted to keep it low to the ground kind of right there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We'll wait for the train. I mean, it'd be easy to get easy access for, well, at the time I thought it was backstage, so easy access, but still. Well, even then, still, we can just, I can throw in, like, you know, a couple of fences, like, that would theoretically yeah. be an access point for guests, you know, to go backstage yeah. and everything. Or but, maybe you slap some, use, like, some wood fencing, but, like, put some chain link in there, too. Yeah, 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 for sure. And, again, like, keeping it low to the ground, like you said, this just worked out yeah. beautifully. Oh, my I mean, those viewpoints, though. I can already imagine all the BK photo pages getting that angle of the flyby right there. (laughs) I mean, look at that. That's sexy. Look at that. Oh, she flies. Oh, that's so cool. That's so gnarly. And And the crazy thing about this layout is all the airtime, I mean, real life, it'd probably be like ejector airtime or whatever, like Mm -hmm. all the GCIs are. But the thing is, these uh, these GCI trains, they aren't built to handle negative Gs. So I had to keep all the G-force... Uh, above zero see that's the Which, that's honestly i'm not sure if i did that but i tried to get it close you but. tried your damn hardest yeah well that see that's the thing with coaster building like in this game i don't really you know keep track of all that kind of stuff nearly uh-huh. as much i'm just more concerned with the shaping but this yeah. just i think this just goes to show if you keep track oh, those beams need to be brought down a little bit I, this, uh, this yeah. goes to show if you you know you know a lot more about coasters than I do and stuff. I mean, I'm kind of like low-key a fake coaster enthusiast, but like <laughs> when, you know, people like you and, and you I mean, come in and you yeah. implement those realistic details, it just adds to it so much because, yeah. you know, this is exactly like what I think a GCI would look like if you had to work with this sort of terrain and stuff. 
Oh, that is so cool. I love that double down so much. I love that. That is so sick. You were messaging me, like, saying, I think the turnaround will be a little bit high, but it's, I think it's the perfect height, honestly. Yeah, originally I had it a little bit higher, but at the top of that, um, the little helix thing, I guess you can call it that. Yeah. Um, like, right after the drop with the double down coming after, mm-hmm. it was honestly, it was going a lot slower than I thought it would be. Yeah. And so I was going to try and kind of work its, like, work up the hill so that, like, it didn't appear tall, but, like, elevation, it was high up. Yeah, but yeah, then yeah. I was like, no, it's it wasn't really working. Right. I, and then originally, but I wanted to kind of keep the track length, but not the height. And so originally, where that double down was, it banked back towards the lift hill. Oh. And it was okay. kind of like a kind of like a curved like double down type thing. It turned it uh, turned right immediately. So kind of like a, maybe a track, track kind of thing or whatever. Yeah, but then I just kind of kept it straight. I mean, it worked and out. I think it, it worked it, out great. Push it out to get more yeah. layout. So, Oh, this is. And I mean, honestly, as tall as um, I think that the top of the drop itself is like 120, I think. And I don't think anything goes above like, I think, 90 for the rest of the layout. And that's off the sea level, right? That's not off the terrain. Yeah, that's off sea level. I think off terrain, the highest it gets is like 50. And that's exactly what we wanted. We wanted a terrain coaster. Oh, God. This is my first time actually looking at it from Tejid Cam. Yeah, I mean, mine too. Back here. And this just looks, oh, my God. Just so in nice. a little bit of trees back and there. And you actually lowered it down a lot more than I. I originally built it, like, a lot higher up. So, like, the whole pre-lift for me was above, like, above it, was all above, it was all above ground level. But you kind of dug it into that ditch, and I love that. I didn't, that wasn't even intentional, yo, because the way we yeah. did this was a little bit um, unconventional. It, it was, I gave it to you in the Steam Workshop uh, and then deleted it right away, and then you just made a blueprint while I was working yeah. on other things. When the, you know, the norm, I think, for people who do these kind of videos is they just upload they get the it. park. Don't, yeah, just leave the park for you, and then you mm-hmm. send that park back instead of the blueprint. So, yeah. I think... Yeah, I mean, it worked out. I think. I hope that's not you, you know, shitting on my work or nothing. But it looks, oh no, it looks it looks it, really good. Honestly, I never thought of doing it like that. It looks amazing. It looks. I mean, you get all the credit for this because this is fucking insane. This looks so good. But like, like I was saying, this is going to be the kid section and stuff. So you know, if you're a little kid and you're there's a wild mouse somewhere over there, but well, that's really not important. But you know, you kind of graduate into this coaster if you're you know a younger yeah. kid. You know, it's a big coaster, but it's not, you know, Iron Bandit big or anything. It's, yeah. that, it's that perfect kind of middle step, I think. And it works out like that, that it never really, even though the elevation change is pretty decent, it never really gets too high off. And so, I mean, honestly, if you were to plop a wild mouse on that terrain, it'd probably be taller than this it coaster is bigger, at most exactly. points. It would, it would look bigger. Yeah, it just, it doesn't leave the terrain that much and it just... It's big in terms of size, but not in terms of height. It's really low to the ground everywhere. Right. I mean, this... And honestly, I tried to keep it towards levels. So even when it's going fast, it's higher up on the hill so that it's it sort of keeps it low to the ground. Right. And I mean, if you look straight off the first drop, it's all the way at the top of the hill still. Mm-hmm. And it sort of it makes its way back up the hill. And so you're, you're yeah, losing right some here. speed. It's, it's pretty high up. Yeah, like that's the but it's still drop. low to the ground. Yeah, that's the that's the biggest drop, right, drop right there. But I don't think it's even here. like ninety feet. Yeah, what, the, what do you, um, the do height you remember, difference is like thirty, I think. Do you remember where the fastest point on this thing is, or it's actually all right? It's at the bottom of the double down, actually. So right here. Um. Yeah, right there. It's oh, wow. perfect fifty. Oh, <laughs> perfect fifty. Bottom, hell yeah. Yeah, bottom of the first drop is forty nine. Okay. And then it hits 50 right there. So, yeah, this thing maintains speed very well. After oh, yeah. we did I really, runs. honestly, I was, one of my main things was I wanted to make sure that I didn't hit the fastest speed at the bottom of the first drop. Yeah. Kind of add that banshee. Really, King it's, Island yeah, Island. banshee. Yeah. It really adds, it really uses the terrain. Yeah. I mean, you did a fucking bang up job, man. This is insane. We did have to reroute uh, the train though, because when I first handed this off to you, the the um, the, the train was run, like right up on the path. Yeah, the brake run kind of ran right up 
And, and the way I, yeah. when I got the blueprint is the train was running almost parallel under the brake run. And I was like, I kind of toyed with yeah. keeping it and stuff and maybe doing some steel beams and everything. Maybe like a Mystic yeah. Timbers kind of vibe, but on like crack cocaine like, or whatever. Too, like, it's unnatural for that. Yeah, but... Honestly, I think the way that that works is it really outlays the storyline that the train was kind of there all along and they worked the coaster around it. Yeah, 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 for sure. And it kind of works be the because the there's that property. big space in between the um the way back to the station flyby and then the break run right i mean this looks great and where this was a um, this is the that was first. off the workshop it's joshua amos i think yeah yeah yeah. that was for his um i think he, the series it's he's doing gambit i think gambit yeah yeah yeah. because and so actually... the middle the wall in between the tracks i changed that a little bit so those uh haunted house pieces it was originally like a bunch of beams, and so I cut down like a hundred pieces. And honestly, I don't think it looks too bad. No, 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 that works out. Great. I mean, it it adds a little bit of style too. It's design. Yeah, instead of just using like a I mean, old... any park is gonna, any park is gonna make sure is gonna want it so that it doesn't look like a, a transfer house, which obviously it is, but you don't look like that. Yeah, the only thing I'll have to go in and add is just some steel beams under here to kind of have the shell for like where this. Yeah. These wheels would run around. And then obviously the building. But yeah, what's in the warehouse. But you can, can go wild for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what's in, the, what's in the warehouse. There's <laughs> going to be some memes in there because, you know, Mystic Timbers. That campaign was bullshit, man. I was so stoked yeah. for what that could have been. But nope. It's and honestly, I think going with the warehouse team, it kind of it gives us an excuse to completely hide the transfer from Pathview. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I can go ahead and probably... I want because, me I mean, to... if you look at, like, most GCIs, they're either completely walled off like mystic timbers or they're far away from guest view like thunderhead they're in the back behind the station where nobody goes yeah 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 so and, and uh, i mean even though this is kind of out there you want to it gives you an excuse to slap a gigantic wall there and put a logo on the side and call it done yeah and call it and like actually have a facade and some theming because the only yeah i mean my i guess the closest gci to me would be uh invader bush gardens williamsburg and they have kind of um some theming and stuff with that because it is a little bit more visible from the uh path and stuff but yeah this i mean this works out beautifully yeah this is going to be a lot of fun to doll up and look nice and everything but um it won't be anything too crazy though because it's just going to be you know the warehouse you know the firework yeah. warehouse and stuff because you're but it will be interesting how the um the station flyby can like blow a hole in the building and how we can work that out yeah, 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 for sure. I, and the thing is, you're a little bit further south than me. You're in Georgia, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, you kind like of know Atlanta. the whole culture with the fireworks and stuff when you cross the border. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, and then we'll go with the crazy... As soon as you cross the border from Georgia to South Carolina, it's fireworks yeah. everywhere. Yep. It's like that going from uh, Virginia to Tennessee, too. It's always a... Uh, yeah, but a hit on my bank account whenever I'm driving down 81. Yeah, we Southerners are crazy. Oh, yeah, y'all crazy motherfuckers. <laughs> Yep. Oh yeah, uh, is we don't there anything give a else shit. We wanted to touch on, or I think we might have hit the nail on the head. Really? Yeah. Um, I'm definitely gonna pick your brain for Valley America. We've already discussed a little bit of uh, plans for that project, but we'll leave uh, some sort of surprise for you know the subscribers, all hundred maybe something of them, I guess. But we'll yeah. uh, we'll leave a surprise. <laughs> hey, dude, it was cool. I hit 160 at a uh, Winterfest last night. Just by now, oh, nice. my friends. So I was like, yeah. I was just like, yo, I'm one away. So that was kind of fun, but nice. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. I mean, and it's crazy to think that this GCI is still shorter than the death roll. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, that. Well, it's really. I mean, if you look at it from right there, if you're looking straight up the lift hill, it looks tall. Yeah. But anywhere else, it's it's really short. Well, yeah, and that's what's crazy. Like it looks like it's the same height, but it's definitely not. It's shorter. Whatsoever. I mean, it's shorter than the death rolls. If you were on top of Iron Bandit, it's like half the height. Yeah. So you'd be actually be looking if down that. on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd yeah. definitely be looking down. It's so sick. I think we're definitely not going to go with the um, with a... The tunnel idea. Yeah, the tunnel idea. Just because yeah. that view coming, looking at the T-Rex and stuff. Yeah, I started to build that, and then I was like, oh, yes, I'm keeping that. Originally, I tried to fit a curve drop in, but I just couldn't work it out with the terrain because the hill kind of goes, the as the coaster is going down, the hill's going up, and so yeah, I did the give you bottom of the drop to get it to get a decent amount of speed. It ended up at like fifty feet below terrain, and I was, there's no way they would do that. So. Yeah, like unless it was like a big old tunnel or something, but that would yeah. yeah. 
We could. Well, the cool thing is, on this, there's not a single tunnel. So. We uh, yeah, we could probably maybe implement a single tunnel somewhere on this. Maybe. But I'm kind of up up shit creek without a paddle on where that would go though, because I want to leave as much of this exposed as possible to the path. Because I think up, probably the best place to do that might be like under that double down because it's already the track is kind of hidden in right, the supports right in here kind of right down there on either one of those tracks or maybe like behind the double down I mean, yeah kind of like a lightning racer deal where you have the uh, one tunnel that covers you know two sections of track maybe. yeah maybe. maybe yeah just kind of throwing some theming just throw some theming in there yeah 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 for sure I mean I mean if you put a house like dead center of that or maybe a house if you put something like dead center of that you get the one track like going through the bottom of it yeah and then it bursts through the top and then back out the bottom yeah 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 We'll definitely go with the uh, kind of, you know, firework shooting through the broadside of a barn kind of look. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with this flyby. It, it's just, I'm I'm going to have to toy around with the exposure of this, because I want, you know, this, you want to be able to see the train flying by right here. Yeah. From the path, so. From in the station. So. Yeah. Maybe, well, because if you look at some firework warehouses, if like some of the facades are massive, but the warehouse behind it is a little bit smaller. So maybe implement some sort of deal like that where this is, you know, you can still see it from inside the station and everything, and it's all completely visible. But, like, the actual yeah. warehouse would be right here, but it's still flying by the station. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I mean, I f we'll figure that out. Dude, this is insane. Like, this looks great. I, I definitely could not have pulled this off, and I'm so glad that you did. You have no idea. This is so awesome. This is so, so freaking cool. Well, I think that might do it for this here episode, you guys. Is there anything else you would like to add, Cam? Is anything Not really. Like to... Just thanks for bringing me on. Oh, this dude. Great time. I'm going to be picking the hell out of your brain in projects going forward. You guys oh, can yeah. expect uh, some more Cam's work uh, going forward, especially in other projects. It's been a lot of fun. I'm so stoked that you came on. Oh, uh the name what are what are what are the, what is the uh, verdict on screaming mimi or anything like that what are your actual thoughts um on that? i was gonna kind of leave that to you on whatever you want to go with for the theme well yeah we'll definitely go with the fire that's not really that's not really theme and like the, the warehouse is, and everything i'm not good at coming up with names so I, yeah the the reason i like the screaming mimi idea is because you know it has that you want to go with something vintage because i mean obviously the ride's new it's not from the 70s it's way too twisty to be from that old but if you want to go with sort of an old type theming it can it can trick the mind to make it think that it's an old ride yeah yeah kind of add some jank and stuff to it to make it look aged because the the theme yeah. of this area is going to be 1976 era i mean obviously the area is going to be themed to look old which even though this ride isn't old you can still make it look old oh yeah you can easily do that with a wooden coaster and with the time you know with the year theoretically being a 1976 celebration and stuff i'll definitely yeah. have to take a look at some you know boondock blue ridge architecture and stuff for inspiration but um, the streaming and maybe this thing, could you yeah. could play it off like this is like a 2006 coaster and like 30th anniversary or something. Yeah, 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 for sure. I actually didn't think of that. I did not think about that. Yeah, because the screaming Mimi idea it has some historical context as like you know World War II artillery. It's also a kind of firework, and it kind of it. I mean, I'm not a big on like the the actual terminology screaming Mimi. I think it sounds kind of weird, but. It kind of yeah. ties into that kid kind of sounds kind of kiddish kind of. Yeah, you you still want to make it appealing to a younger audience. Yeah, and you know, there's there's multiple definitions. Like like I said, there's that historical context with it being a nickname for German World War II artillery and stuff. But it also is a terminology. But like, no kids gonna know that. So yeah, that's something for the adults, I guess, mm -hmm. if if they're keen on history or whatever. I mean, I love history, so I'm always looking for some sort of connections between the two, but. Yeah, um, it also uh, kind of stands for panic and hysteria and stuff, and I guess that kind of works because if you, I mean, like yeah. this, this this coaster looks pretty freaking insane, yo. Like it, it yeah, all these banked air tunnels. Oh yeah, I just think the the random like right there, right now transfer where it like stays banked and it keeps the airtime. Yeah, like right after the drop where it's like it's it's like you're about to bank into a curve, but then it just flattens out. Yeah, wait, right in here. Right, um, like right at the bottom of the drop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I did not notice that. See, that's the that's the sister. All stuff. the parts right there where it keeps it keeps the banking and it hits the airtime. Yeah, yeah, because it kind of hits you. And yeah, it, it really adds that wild ride thing because you're expecting to go up, but it doesn't go up. Yeah. See, again, that's just the the nitty gritty coaster details that I'm not too keen or concerned with or anything that that you guys definitely that you people no offense not racist or anything but yeah. that you guys pick up yeah. on that i just that's something i definitely wouldn't have implemented because in, in all honesty dude gcis are hard to build particularly oh, in yeah. this game like you don't you know how it? many iterations I mean. how many times did you I go mean, through? like i didn't really i didn't like rebuild the coaster or anything but i'm pretty sure like at least half the elements are on their second turn oh yeah mainly that double down right there like i said i originally had it like curving back towards the rest of the layout but i couldn't i couldn't work that out yeah with the um with the terrain yeah because you kept sending me messages yeah. and stuff yeah i kept sending you screenshots of like what i was working on and i bet you half those screenshots are gone now they brought yeah i think they are they, they probably all outdated but i and i was just like dude run with it like let the imagination run wild. I the last thing I mm-hmm. want to do is have someone come in on this project and me go. It has to be done like this. It has to be done like that. Because if it, if that's yeah. what I'm, if that's the case, fuck it. Might as well do it myself. So I'm, I like to leave a lot of mm-hmm. room for imagination because everyone's yeah. got. And something. honestly, I'm glad you did that because I I think the really me not having any idea of what to go with for this helps it become natural. Yeah, yeah. It, it, because it, like if you're going for like a certain style, it ends up. Full straight out of my head yeah kind of, yeah it like it just it looks so much more organic yeah for sure for sure well again man i appreciate the living hell out of this so much like it really really means a lot it, it looks so great i can't wait to get my hands on it and doll it up and if i and i'll probably hit some roadblocks and stuff so there's a fat chance i'll probably pull uh pull you back in to maybe help out with some theming and this that and the other thing um you know, just to kind of add your own little touch, yep. I'll probably just, you know, get a general Flare. idea going and then let you maybe run wild with that. So I'll get kind of a general outline and stuff going before we get phase one loaded up. And then once it's uploaded, you know, you can add your own flare and touch to it and we'll take it from there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. All right. Sounds well, this, this looks so freaking cool. I appreciate it, man. Everybody, that was uh, Cameron. Thank you for coming on and doing this again. And we will yep. see you guys in the next episode. It probably, this will be out on Monday, so probably Thursday. I think All I right. uploaded a little bit too many videos last week, and there was some subscriber burn because the numbers were a little bit down. But also, you know, fuck YouTube. Yeah, so, you were going crazy posting that last week. Huh? <laughs> you were going crazy posting last I week. I mean, bro, like... It was like, it was like every day there was a new video. <laughs> it was because... It was, like, it was like, how do you work this fast? I got stoked with the Hot Shot series and then i got stoked with working in this and like seriously i get no sleep anymore bro like it's insane i get up into my little nook or whatever around 10 o'clock in the evening and next thing i know it's four o'clock in the morning and then i'm back up around nine i I just it's it's really bad and i think it's taxing on my creativity and my temper a little bit but i'm gonna try to settle it down a little bit and if and because that's my thing i would get a bunch of videos like done and then be like oh it's gotta go out right away because it's done but I think I just need to kind of backlog it and chill out a little bit. So, yeah, yeah. we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. And I got a bunch of shit coming All up right. that I w- will hinder my ability to upload more consistently. So I probably should backlog and not be so quick to jump the gun. But, yep, that's what's been going on, you guys. The park, it's coming together. Phase one is coming soon. I know I've been saying that for a while, but, you know what, bear with me. I'm only human. And, you know what, so are you. All right, you guys, you are fucking beautiful, and I love you, and I'll see you in the next episode. Ciao. All right, that was that was good. That was that good. Was lit. We'll have to go Have in you and ridden back row yet? Huh? Have you ridden back yet? Back.